Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Bronx Baubles. I'm also known as Titi Goari, and today we're gonna to be exploring my collection of holiday Christmas jewelry. Some of it vintage, some of it new, some of it different, some of it unusual. But, um, so this video is actually dedicated to my sister Denise. Uh, she is one of those Christmas fanatics. She watches all the Hallmark and holiday shows. She decorates her Christmas tree before Thanksgiving. Hope you love it as much as I love you. So without further ado, let's take a look at my dream vision board. This is my dream vision board for my holiday jewelry. These are just the pins. I have a couple of other pieces that are not pins. We're starting with the snowflakes. This snowflake here is a rhinestone snowflake. It's made with uh, just clear rhinestones on the glue set. Um, the back has this great clasp as well as a little hook here where you can use it as a pendant. The second snowflake is this one. This is a vintage snowflake made with the Bor Aurora Borealis. I just love the way it glistened and for a long, long time, this was my favorite, favorite brooch. This is one of the oldest pieces in my collection. It's not only the oldest, but perhaps one of the ones that is the most dearest to me. This one um, my father gave me, um, which started out my vintage uh, costume obsession. Um, that's a story for another day. But it is one that I got when I was about 12 years old, so for over 30 something years. Okay, over 40 years. <laughs> Next up is the Christmas trees. These are the large Christmas trees. I'll start off with this one right here. Look at that one. That one is constructed with these amazing Marcosite green uh, rhinestones, they're prong set. Um, and then the fire, the ornaments are other Marcosite type uh, rhinestones that are made with different colors. You might notice in the bottom, it looks like I'm missing this uh, rhinestone, which um, I'm gonna probably start looking to for a replacement for. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, Christmas tree. Christmas tree uh, brooches are probably one of the most highest collected costume jewelry out there. People just collect all kinds of Christmas tree uh, brooches and they have hundreds and hundreds of them in their collection. This is a really, really beautiful one. What's interesting about this brooch is that it's not even signed. Perhaps one of the piece of resistance of my entire co Christmas collection is this incredible tree. This tree is about four and a half inches tall, so it's really substantial. Um, what's beautiful about this is that you have all these prong set uh, green stones, uh, and they have this, see, as I always say to you, I love anything with movement on it. So you have this incredible uh, garland of rhinestone chain that goes across the brooch, and then you have these little dangling, moving, um, uh, ornaments. Uh, this tree, you could probably, if you can get it to stand, could probably stand as something you put in your display case. You can wear it on your brooch. You have to be very careful with it because it is delicate. Uh, look at the way the back is constructed. It's really, really a beautiful piece. And as you see, it moves like that. And so when you're moving, it catches the light. This is probably one of the most um, beautiful ones out of my whole entire collection. It's really, really pretty. So I pulled out three more Christmas trees from the collection. Uh, I'll start off with this one. This one is a very, very interesting one. It's made with enamel. Let me not cover the star. The star has a rhinestone on it. Um, what's interesting about it, and maybe you can tell more by the back, is that each of these ornaments are actually little tiny earrings. So you pull them out and you put them on your ear. So this is a brooch that converts into earrings. And the earrings are what's used as part of the de decoration. And so I think that was, and the earrings the, are, are beautifully prong set. Um, it's a really, really beautiful piece. So this is a nice one in my collection. These two I'm bringing up at the same time because these are Avon Christmas trees. And Avon did a whole series of Christmas trees and also um, other jewelry, um, holiday jewelry. 
let's get started with this one first. This one says Avon 2004 first annual. So this is the first annual Christmas tree that Avon put out there. It is really beautifully constructed. Um, a lot of Avon jewelry is collectibles. This is perhaps my favorite Avon and probably the uh, Avon Christmas tree and probably the one that you will see the most out there. Um, I've seen these at um, thrift stores all the time actually and I probably should collect more of them if I see them. It's a Christmas tree made of gold bowls with Aurora Borealis uh, rhinestones that are glue set. And this is the way the back is constructed. It says Avon here at the bottom. And these are highly collectible. So if you see them at the thrift stores or yard sales or flea markets, you should definitely consider getting them. Here is three more Christmas trees. This one I just purchased at the thrift store literally yesterday. I knew I was doing this video. And so um, when I saw this, I, I just had to get it. And look at the impact that it has. It was literally glowing out of the case. And so when I saw this, I just picked it up immediately and it had a twin. So I picked up both of them because I'm gonna give one away to my sister, Denise. I'm sending this to you, Denise, um, and keeping the other one. Um, this is an interesting tree because unlike some of the other trees that I have, uh, this one is just constructed almost entirely of Aurora Borealis uh, stones. They are prong set, so they're really well constructed. It doesn't have a name brand on it, but to me, this is a high quality piece. The way it, it, it shines, the brightness of it, the clarity of it, it's just really, really a beautiful piece. And then this one here is the Christmas tree that's perhaps the oldest in my collection. This is a pretty old uh, brooch. Um, this brooch is probably made in Czechoslovakia. And what I like about this one is that it has all these different colors on it. Each row is a different color. We're coming down to the last two Christmas pins in my collection, then we can jump on to some of the other stuff. This is an adorable, tiny little brooch. It's probably less than an inch tall, but it has a huge impact. It has a Christmas tree in green, surrounded with white rhinestones. And for the top and for the branch, um, you have the stump rather, you have this red stone and then um, white rhinestones at the end. For this is a really, really special uh, collection because this is an all white Christmas tree. And it kind of reminds me of Dr. Zavago. Um, the coloration on that is just beautiful. Um, it's not signed in the back, so but you can tell that it's high quality. The rhinestones in the front are like a frosted, which is very apropos for the holidays, with these tiny little, um, small little ornaments and clear rhinestones. So comes with the matching earrings. Look how pretty that is, and the earrings actually happen to be marked Napier. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, here we go. So the earrings are marked and they're clearly a set. So had I not had the set in the earrings, I would have never known that this brooch was a Napier brooch. That's why when you look at some of these brooches that I have, you know that they're high quality, they might not be marked, but if you get their um, matching set, it might be in the necklace, it might be in the bracelet, it might be in the earrings. And so it's kind of important to keep these as a set. Let's go on to the March of the Wooden Soldiers. We'll start off with this one. This one is a very, very well-made wooden soldier. You can tell because of the details on this brooch. It's probably about two inches tall, and you can see he's covered in enamel to the point where he even has blush on the side of his face. That's the kind of detail that you know that it's a high quality piece. This piece is not marked at all. I don't know who made this piece, but whoever made it, you can tell they did a fabulous job. So this is March of the Wooden Soldiers. Here is another soldier, wooden soldier. 
or nutcrackers made with uh, rhinestones. Um, and again, anytime you get a piece that has that movement, that's, that's my favorite uh, to collect. So take a look at him. Isn't he adorable? I'm also gonna show you this choo-choo train. This is the Polar Express train. Um, and what's nice about this piece is that it has a little bit of a three-dimensional effect to it. It's, um, you can see the back of it. It's not the most highest quality of pieces, but um, it is really, really nice. Let's get to the angels. Let's start off with this little piece here. This is a really, really incredible angel. He's a little turtle with a cute little booty that sticks out. This brooch, you can actually string it on a chain and wear it as a pendant. And it has these amazing ribbons that kind of just flow through the sky. This one is made from MMA, which is uh, from the Museum of Modern Art. So this is a museum uh, reproduction piece. Uh, and it's just really, really pretty. These two are made by the same company. Uh, and the company is called Mylu. M-Y-L-U. Uh, so let's pick up this girl right here. She is so sweet. She has that 60s look to her. She has these beautiful, beautiful angel wings and she's singing the carols. Um, so she's also a caroler. Uh, she's got these cute little rhinestones all scattered about her flowing, bustly dress. I do several of versions of, of these pins. I happen to find these two. Both of them I found at the thrift store and I think I found the other one at a flea market. And I get them for under five dollars. Don't remember exactly how much I paid, but look at her. She is so cute. She's flying through the sky. She's actually you don't see any wing, angel wings, but to me she's she just looks like an angel. Here we have two more angel babies. These are really really adorable because they look like flying angel cherubs and um, I think of angels when I think of Christmas. This cherub here is playing a mandolin I think that's called. He's got these beautiful beautiful wings uh, that have the detail on it. They're three-dimensional as you can see and it has this real easy class on the back which is and this is actually from Israel. This one here is another cherub baby. And I don't know where this one's made. Um, kind of reminds me of the cherubs that are in Rome and Florence and in Italy. You see these cherubs in famous uh, paintings and frescoes in Italy. Uh, this one has a nice uh, little hoop here so you can attach it to a chain as a pendant. So you can wear this one as a pendant or you can wear this one as a brooch. Angel is incredibly stunning. Look at that cha-cha effect on the bottom. Again, more movement. So when you're walking and you're glistening, it'll catch the light where the way you move. Um, this one is constructed with rhinestones. It has beautiful blue stones for the eyes and golden yellow for the halo. The wings are outstretched. This brooch is about uh, four and a half inches uh, tall. So it's a pretty big brooch. Here are three more beautiful, beautiful brooches. I'll start with this one here. This, I just think it's a fabulous, fabulous um, brooch. This is a poinsettia brooch and it has the Pronkset marcasite with the green uh, stone rhinestones surrounding the entire brooch. And then you have this fabulous uh, middle stone of rhinestone. It's so beautifully constructed. It's a small little piece, but it packs a big, big punch. Another rhinestone piece with uh, a flaming uh, flame that goes in the middle of the rhinestone. It has beautiful green uh, rhinestone surrounding the wreath. And it has these pretty, 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 pretty red 
little ornament stones that probably signify flowers. It has this illuminating candlestick and it has these beautiful holly leaves. Beautiful uh, candlestick. The candlestick is made with pink candle, which is unusual. It has the red flame on the top. It has these beautiful holly leaves sticking out. And then it has like this lantern-like uh, candlestick holder. Um, one of the stones here probably needs to be removed and either, re probably not replaced, cleaned and set back in. Um, this is the way it looks in the back. And it never seems to uh, amaze me how every time I do these videos, I find things in my collection that I didn't even know was there. And in this case, I just looked at this and I discovered there's a cartouche at the bottom here and it has Hobe. And Hobe is a highly, highly collectible uh, costume jewelry designer. So a Christmas holiday jewelry collection will not be complete without a Santa. And here is my Santa. This is a really well-made um, enamel Santa. And what I like about this enamel is that it has that little bit of translucent look to it. So it, the shine comes out really, really through. Um, he's carrying this gorgeous big bag of goodies with presents and a candlestick. He's your typical uh, Santa. This is uh, a holiday bow brooch and look at how fabulous that brooch is. It's made with green and with the wine burgundy ribbon. And this is something I can see wrapped right on top of a, a, a present. This one, look at the back, the way it's constructed. And you can probably see down here is a cartouche with uh, the name Joan Rivers. And Joan Rivers jewelry from, um, is highly, highly collectible. Um, and it's going up in value, unfortunately, after her, her death. Um, she had amazing jewelry and I got a couple of her pieces and this is one of them. And then my second piece de resistance is this reindeer. Look at how that glistens. You, you just got to take it all in. It's so beautiful. This is a three dimensional um, brooch. It's not Rudolph. And the reason why we can tell it's not Rudolph is because he doesn't have a red nose. So this is probably Prancer, Dancer, Donner, Vixen, one of the other Rudolphs, uh, reindeers rather. Uh, but he's definitely not Rudolph because he doesn't have that red nose and I wish he does. Now, or he could just be a buck. Now I know there's a lot of hunters out there, but so am I. I'm a jewelry, custom jewelry hunter and I hunted this down. This is an amazing piece. I love it so much. It's just all the rhinestones. They all look like Swarovski. Around his eyes is a lighter shade of his rhinestones. Look at his antlers. His antlers are huge. Um, now this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten antler buck. Uh, he's, he's, he's amazing. He's got these onyx eyes. And he's got this beautiful dangling, I love my dangles, um, pearl. And so you know I love the movement. Uh, this is a Heidi Douse piece. Now on to the bells. The bells of St. Mary. This is a beautiful rhinestone bells. Uh, there's two of them. Again, that movement. That movement always catches the light. Um, Bells that have not only movement, but sound. So when you're coming down the street, you know, they can hear you. Continuing on with the bells is this one. And this one is just special. Look at the way it's constructed. This is an art piece, uh, an art piece, this A-R-T. Um, and Art has a lot of uh, uh, brooches in their collection. I also have bracelets from Art. Uh, the enameling on here is really, really special because of all the little details, including these little pearls uh, for the ringer. It's probably one of my first holiday um, pieces that I had. Um, it's really, really special. 
And then there's these two. These two are wired brooches. This one has a lot of movement. This one has the movement in the little bell. This one is entirely constructed with wire. So the bell is made of wire, the bow is made of wire, it's three dimensional. It doesn't have any sound, but it does have movement and it has this beautiful, beautiful little detail rhinestone um, uh, flower uh, in the middle. Um, and the flower is with the red and green stones. That's a nice piece because of the way it moves. This is a wire piece. It doesn't have as much movement. The movement's here in the bell, but it is bigger in size. Again, this is completely constructed with wire. Um, I love the way that the bow is made. It's made with a braiding of wire, more delicate, more detailed, very, very pretty. Um, and then it has these little details of rhinestones scattered about. So I wanted to include a couple of different items that are not the traditional um, holiday type jewelry. And that is, I added this guy right here. Take a look at this. Can you guys recognize what this is? This is, can you hear it? These are little miniature maracas. And the reason why I added this is because um, in my country, uh, of Puerto Rico, we have these things called parandas for the holidays. And the parandas are very similar to the Christmas carolers that come knocking on your door, but instead they sing uh, Latin um, hibaro songs. Hibaros are from the countryside. So the countryside uh, songs uh, that they come and they sing and they use Latin instruments, including cuatro, which is the four string guitar, they use the tambourine, they use a guido, which is made with a gourd, and it has that scratchy sound to it, and they also use maracas. So uh, when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of the parandas that we had in Puerto Rico, and here in New York too. Pear, because this pear is like that famous poem uh, a partridge in a pear tree. So this is the pear. So it's not a literal translation of the song. And it's not what you would obviously think of when you think of Christmas. But I saw this and I thought pear tree. And to me that meant Christmas. And this is beautifully constructed with um, brass, stainless steel, and copper. And then I also added this wooden dove. This dove is a peace dove. And so a lot of times you see a dove as uh, a sign of peace and happiness during the holidays. And it doesn't have that traditional glitzy uh, look like I have in some of these other pieces with the rhinestones. This one is constructed with wood. It's more primitive, it's more artisanal, it's just a sweet little piece. So we're coming down to the home stretch and I have these really, really adorable gorgeous red bow earrings. I mean, I could wear this with this outfit that I'm wearing right now. It's so beautiful. And what about wearing something a little bit ostentatious, such as this? This is not your traditional holiday earrings, but it has the holiday colors. So take a look at that. And what about this piece? To me, these are like little ornaments. So imagine these dangling from your ear little ornament piece. They're like crystal balls. You could even wear them right through the new year. Um, just like the crystal ball that falls down in Times Square. And along that line is these earrings. Oops. These are like little, little, gorgeous little cranberries that are in your ear. These are Warner. Um, earrings. These Santa earrings. These are almost Victorian looking in nature. Um, and these Santas are the old, old school German type Santa. And this is made by Maximal Art, who's a, a jewelry designer, who makes these glass resin type material. I'm not sure what that material is but it's like um, encased in that. And similar to that, 
idea is this one. This is a Christmas uh, a bracelet. So Avon made this one, similar to the Maximum Art. Last but not least is this Christmas charm bracelets. I have many, many charm bracelets in my collection and I'm so happy to have this one in my collection as well. Thank you for joining me. I was really happy to put this together. Again, this is dedicated to my sister Denise. Love you. Look out for that brooch. I'll be sending that to you. For more about custom jewelry, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit like. Leave me a comment. Tell me which piece uh, resonated with you. But look out for my second part of this video. Ciao. Adios. And take care.